Yo, hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to design and create a 3x3 piston door from scratch. So let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so here I have a pretty normal 3x3. I made it in like 2 minutes. So it's not the best one in the world, but this is just to show you guys what a 3x3 is and you can understand what we are trying to make. So 90% of a 3x3 is just the bottom right here. If I remove this redstone dust and this redstone dust, that pulls back all of these blocks and then we just have the center two. And so you can see this is the circuit that controls the center two blocks. That's how it grabs the block in the middle. And everything else is just to push out the blocks like that. So that's really simple. And she has the bottom mainly. So I'm going to start off with explaining how the bottom works and then we're going to go from there. So this is the sequence of how the bottom works for the closing. First you power the top piston and then you power the right piston and then you power the bottom up and then back down. The reason you want to do this is, I'll explain in just a sec, because if you power from the bottom, that means you can reuse that exa exact same sequence to do the opening. So now you power the top, you power the right, now you power the bottom, except the difference this time is you also power the top also, and then just like before, you power the bottom again by pulling it back, power the top. So this is just a double piston extender, if you guys have ever seen that. And yeah, so very simple. Top side bottom it pushes up and then you don't power the top this time and you pull it back down now you do the exact same thing bottom side bottom again except this time you power the top piston it pulls it all the way back and that's how you get the center of the 3x3 so i probably made that seem way more complicated than it really is but let's just start simple and the very first thing we're going to do is create a double piston extender a double piston is what controls it when it when the block is like this. We're gonna have to design a circuit that does that pretty much. And how I would do that is through through this. So how you power a double piston pretty much is you power this front one first, and then you power the back one. And the reason for that is if I power this here. It won't power anything, and then if I power this next, both will extend. Okay? But when you retract them, if they're at the same time, this won't pull it back because this piston is still extended. So if I just put a delay here, this will pull back because this piston will be off by the time this one is trying to pull it back. Okay? Now the only thing we have to add now is if I put a block here, you can see we're just missing one step, which is powering this middle piston. And just for showing you guys how to do this, I'm going to do it all the way over here. And we're going to have an observer, because an observer will give a one tick output, which will be push out and grab, like that, which is what we want. And we're going to make it two ticks. Um, so this is two ticks after, and then the observer has one tick. So this is Imagine this as a three tick repeater. So it goes one, two, and this is three. And there you go, that is a double piston extender. Okay, so now that you guys understand how a double piston works, we're actually gonna make another one because there's an issue with this one and that is the, there's redstone past where the wall should be. So let's say this block is where the wall is or if we're making it vertical, that's where the floor is. We cannot have redstone here. That's just that's just not how it works. So we have to design a new one. And we also want one where when you flick it, it actually spits out the block. And then it comes all the way back and leaves the block there. So this will not do it. And we have to come up with a new design. So here I'm going to make a pretty simple circuit. To you. So what happens here is I'm going to power this observer, which powers this note block, powering this back piston. So the very first thing that's going to happen is it's going to power it like this. One tick after, it's going to read this note block and power this block here. 
And if you remember, this is where the wall is. And so this is okay because we're not going past where the wall is. And what's going to happen there is going to spit gonna spit this out. And then we're going to pull this back. And one tick. Uh, and then a few ticks after that, it's going to power this. And there's a reason for that because now when it's coming back here, we want to power it once more and pull it back. So I'm just going to have another observer on this side. And run redstone like that. Hopefully that works. Needs two ticks. So if I press it once, it powers its front piston, spits it out, powers this one, and now the block is there. Now if I power it again, it's going to pull this back. And this one doesn't matter now because there's no piston here to power it. So it doesn't affect anything. And two ticks after, it's going to power this middle one. So it does the front two. And it pulls it back and does the bottom two. Okay, so pretty much that's a double piston. And I'm going to show you how to easily double pulse this. If you put a four tick repeater here. A four, a four tick repeater will act like a... If you watch this note block, it will power twice. That's because the repeater, when it powers, it turns on and then it turns off and the observer detects that both times. And so if we power that, you can see the double piston works through just a single press of this note block. Okay. okay, so to rotate this vertically, I literally just copied exactly what I have here, where it's an uh, observer into a note block with another observer facing up, and you can see. That does these two, and it pulls it back. So now what we're missing is the opposite side, where it powers this middle piston. Except we can't use it exactly like that, because if I were to have a observer here, and the piston is here, this will actually power the bottom piston, which we don't want. So I'm going to put a block here instead. And so, if... If the pistons are like this, when you power it, nothing happens. Okay. Then we're just going to run the redstone and put an observer facing up. It's just two ticks. Literally the exact same thing, the only difference is I have a block here. So let's see if this works out. This is where the floor is. And it looks like it was maybe too fast. Let's try three ticks here. See if that maybe fixes anything. Yeah, and there we go. That is the working uh, vertical double piston extender. Okay, so now we could use this to make a uh, three by three, but this is really, really big. And throughout the Redstone community, there's a well-known double piston extender which is a four tick repeater and a observer facing straight up. And if you power this now, I, I forgot to put a block here. If you power this, this is a double piston extender. Exact same thing as that, except 100 times smaller. Okay, so now that we have a really small double piston extender and how you guys kind of understand why, I'm not gonna explain why this one works in particular, but it, what it does is it's the exact same thing as this. Now the next part we're going to do, really simple, we're just going to add in the side. So now we just have to do the sequence. Piston, uh, middle one, side, then we have to power the bottom. And how we do that is we just power the double. And the reason it didn't do the full extension is because I don't have a block here. If I had a block here, it would break. So this is just another thing that is well known through 3x3s is we use this method where we actually use the block that gets pushed in. So we power this, we push this in, so now there is no block here. And so that means we can just power the double and all it does is just push the bottom up and then back down, which is exactly what we want and that is how you close it. Now for the opening, we power this, we power the side. Now there is a block there, and so we can just power our double, and that pulls it all the way down. Super simple. Now that you guys understand the most complex part of the 3x3, all we have to do now is make a circuit that powers this, and then this. 
and that seems pretty easy. Uh, I'm just going to make it kind of big. So, observer here. It's going to power it when I press this lever. That's going to be the first one that powers. And then it'll go... And we'll read this. And make it... have to power this after two ticks. It has to be two ticks. Is That's just how pistons work. Because it'll take one tick to pull it back. And then... Two ticks later is the ma minimum amount before you can pull this, kind of. So I'm just going to think of a way. Two ticks here, and I'm just going to have a block there and there. So this will power this redstone dust, and the dust will power this block, powering this piston. So you can see, when I flick this lever, it pulls it from there to there. And if I do the opposite, it'll push the blocks like this, and then you just power the double. And then we do the same thing, pull it down. Or the double and uh, what you have to do is you have to power the double after two ticks and we already kind of have that I'm just gonna put redstone dust here is it'll power this block which will power this redstone dust powering this note block which powers your double there you go that's the entire th three by three bottom so this next part is unnecessary but I'm gonna do it because then you guys can understand how one wide 3 by 3s are made. But pretty much, all I'm going to do is remove this layer here and try to make this one block wide. And it's really simple actually. Because, like before, one tick, I'm going to power this top piston. So I'm just going to put a note block here with a lever. So when I hit this lever, it's going to power the top piston. Very simple. And then, after two ticks, so I'm just going to go below, one, two have a block here and then I guess it could be three ticks it doesn't really matter so it's gonna be three ticks now that's gonna pull these two and that's gonna be the exact exactly what we're looking for you guys recall that's what we're looking for and then we just have to add in a double piston extender which is just remember it's just a four tick repeater and an observer facing up the four tick is facing into the bottom piston like that that's the 3x3 three three bottom, one white. Oh, so now that we're 90% done with the 3x3, three three, the rest of it is just figuring out how to power the rest of these. So we're just going to have pistons all the way around. I'm going to put three on the side here. Three on the side here. And one at the top. So each one of those pistons will grab one of the blocks from the 3x3 three three on the outside. Now let's just figure out a way to power it, and I'm going to try to get them at the same timing. So when I hit this lever, it's going to be one, two, two ticks. So let's try to make this like that, and it'll power straight up into a block, redstone dust here. So that will be three ticks after I hit the lever, it'll pull back both sides. Oopsies. So it'll look like this after three ticks. And as you can see, that's already half of the door working. And if you're wondering how this works, it detects this redstone dust, powering this observer, powering this block. The block will power both these two pistons because of quasi-connectivity, and this redstone dust will power this top one. Now let's do it for this side also. And like I said, two ticks down here, we're going to have the exact same thing, observer into a block, redstone dust. And we just need a way to make this two ticks. And so that's pretty easy also. I'm just going to have two observers. Which is two ticks. This is already one. So that's one. Two. Three. If I put in all the blocks now. You can see all the sides are working. And that's how the center works. Now we just have to do one last piston. Really easy. I'm just going to power it here. And I'm going to run a line of redstone across. Okay, that's kind of dumb because uh, I forgot this this redstone dust will power this piston through quasi connectivity. So actually, what I'm gonna do instead is put a piston here. So it'll power this piston. Then the piston will power the piston will trigger this observer, powering this middle middle block. Okay, <laughs> I 
guess what? We're done with the 3x3. Three three. So, I just build a ring around it, you can see. I close it. That is why... This is what 3x3 three three technology has become now. One why? Super easy to build, almost anybody can understand it if you just spend a little time with it. But anyways, tell me if you guys want a tutorial on how to design a 4x4, but that's about it. Thanks for watching.